United States Army Installation Management Command. We are the Army's home. Well, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm Lieutenant General Doug Gabram. I'm back with you again uh, for an IMCOM update. So first, I just want to say thanks um, to all the IMCOM professionals, starting with the IMCOM staff all the way down to the garrison commanders and their support and their staff. Um, everybody's doing a fantastic job. Um, every time I get an opportunity, I, I brag about our team. Um, and I, I just want to give a quick update on the current operating environment. As you know, um, whether you, depending on what channel you turn on, whether you get your news, um, et cetera, uh, we have a lot going on. It's a very complex and challenging environment. And I can assure you the team is working hard uh, to work through this. Um, every installation has its different challenges. You think of it as states. Every state is different. Um, outside the gates, um, we, we have um, different, uh, obviously different communities. Um, it's important we stay synced and synchronized and linked and nested uh, to those folks, and I think we're doing a great job. Um, I would just, I, I'd like to give you, um, talk about um, a couple things today very, very quickly, and that is how do we adapt? How do we move forward? How do we be innovative in this environment? Um, because I believe, just my opinion, um, the societal norms and behaviors are going to change. So on a personal level, I, I would ask, um, use, maybe use the three to six rule. Reach out to three to six people um, in your family, um, also on the job, and just ask them how they're doing. Just check on their morale, because this is very different for, for many folks, um, and there's a lot of various pressures. Um, from financially, physically, mentally, emotionally. So we, we have to check on each other because people are the number one priority. Um, how do we accomplish our mission in a COVID environment? As General Perna says, one number one, we have to protect the force. We have to stop the virus. And I can tell you we're working hard on multiple levels to do that. But how do we maintain our readiness? One of the aspects I, I wanted to share also is I think we all have to remember this is a condition-based approach. We have to be deliberate. We have to be disciplined. We have to evaluate our risks. The risks, um, we all think about this every day. The, the balance between opening and resuming services versus preventing future outbreaks. So that, I can tell you, that is what the team is working hard on. I'll keep everybody updated as we move forward. Um, the good and the bad thing here is the situation is changing daily. Uh, sometimes we take a step back, but hopefully um, we take more steps forward. So something to consider is we're going to go slow to go fast. Um, and we have to fight complacency. And I would just ask you and your families to help the team, the greater good, to stay disciplined um, and fight complacency. And then at the end, remember, we have to protect ourselves so we can protect the force so the force can protect the nation. Please keep yourself and your family safe until next time. Thank you.